this video, I'm going to shut up and let you watch me paint a go-kart frame. But first, I have to tell you how to prep the frame for painting. Now, it does come in bare metal, but that doesn't mean that you can go straight to painting. There's a little bit of manufacturing residue that leaves a little bit of grease and dirt and dust on the frame. There's also can be a few little weld berries here and there you want to remove. Also, it's bare metal, it's clean and dry, but there can be light bits of rust from... Uh, both handling, uh, exposure during shipping, as well as a little bit of welder flash around some of the weld beads. You're going to want to clean those off. To do that, you can use a little bit of uh, some light 220 grit sandpaper for the light hand sanding in those spots. Also, Scotch Bright works real well for cleaning those up. For removing the, the grease and dirt and grime, I recommend using mineral spirits, uh, use gloves, use a mask to prepare, to use a mask. To protect yourself and wipe down the whole frame thoroughly using mineral spirits and allow ample time to dry so it doesn't affect your paint in any way. Mineral spirits is actually a paint thinner that would thin your paint out and actually cause runs if you put it on there too soon. Uh, also you want to make sure that it's dry and make sure that you have removed all of the grime and things that are picked up from manufacturing, transit, and warehousing of those things. So let me show you how to do those just real quick. So right here we have one of these little welding berries. I call it a welding berry. A lot of people call them BBs, but it's just part of the welding process. It gets kind of it splatters over and sticks to the frame. You want to remove any of these that are going to be unsightly in places. To do that, you could just take like a little file. They really remove fairly easy, like that. Just flecked off of there, and you could you could see a little bit left behind. You take a little bit of sandpaper and sand on those. That's how you remove the welding berries. So here's a little bit of surface rust from uh, exposure to moisture in transit. So in that one, just take and lightly sand those away. Here's a little bit of a little burn and flash around that weld there. Want to remove those. Scotch Bright works really good for this because you can get it in all those corners and edges. And if you get these long pieces, you can wrap it around the tubing. So for using the mineral spirits, take all your safety precautions, you want to wear some safety glasses, wear a mask for fumes. I'm going to leave it off for this little short bit again because you want to be able to hear me talk. Uh, get you some good chemical resistive gloves, I'm kind of in short supply right now, right now, I had to use what I could find. Get you some, are you still rolling? Get you some cotton waste, I usually take my old tour t-shirts and blood drive donation t-shirts and cut them up for shop racks and just take the mineral spirits and uh, soak a rag Put plenty on there don't spill it and create a hazardous spill and go to wiping the whole frame down and take it just get all those residues off of there Get all these tubes up here, wipe them down good. Make sure to really remove all of that residue. And take your time. I'm kind of rushing through this just for display purposes, but take your time and make sure that you get your frame nice and clean because that's going to affect how your paint sticks. I'm going to show you raw footage, unedited, of when we painted the Orange Crate kit, the very first go-kart. So I'm gonna show that in its entirety and let you just watch painting a go-kart from start to finish, all the footage that we have of that. Start shaking. Oh.
I start out with all the hard to reach spots. So when you come out to try and get them later, you don't wind up with drips. Right. I put a quarantine sign on the door. You're welcome. This is the same color orange. Mm-hmm. Okay, the orange cream. Up here, right there, that's And on this part right here, see this? You know the part that um, guides the cable? This thing is going to be orange. It's going to be pretty freaking awesome. What about on the bearing here and on this side that looks it'll be hard to paint in the butt later? No, I don't think too bad. Next to the mounting plate. Right there. Or is that not gonna be too bad either? This orange is really weird. On camera, it like glows.
garage door crack? Mm-hmm. Okay. I tried to. You pretty much got the entire undercarriage. Aren't there, isn't there like drug stuff in paint? Hey, you better take a break for a while.
right off the plastic that's still on them. Yeah. And the ground. Okay, I'm rolling again. Huh? I'm rolling again. Dang it. Get it. So that's how you paint a go-kart with rattle can paint. Make it look as good as powder coat or professional automotive paint. Uh, and it still looks pretty good. It's held up to a lot of abuse and over a million views. So keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for videos where I show you how to assemble your vintage go-kart kit. Thanks.